Hey friends, and welcome back to another Daily Devotional. I'm Pastor Stephanie. I'm so glad that you have joined us. I've got my chai here today. It's a good day when it starts out with a chai. I hope you're having a great day. It's the middle of our week, and we've got some great things in store coming up as we get ready to meet together on site this Sunday, 845 and 1045. I cannot wait to see you either on site or online. So this past week, my husband Phil and I were going through some keepsakes. We have a whole bunch of boxes in our garage, and we decided it was time to go through those, kind of weed some things out, put things in better boxes so that we could have those packed away the way that they should be. And as we were going through those, my husband Phil was reminiscing about his days of running. You see, my husband Phil was a runner in high school and in college, and he loved to run. Now, that is not something uh, that we share in common because I don't like to run at all. The only need I see for running is if you're running towards a donut or away from a bear. That's really the only need I see for running in life. So he loves to run, me not so much. So I was thinking about this special passage, one of my favorites from the Old Testament. I'm sure if you've been around Christianity very long, you probably know this passage too, from Psalm 23, where David is talking about who God is to him. And at the very end of this psalm, most translations will say something like, surely your goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. But some other translations will say things like, surely your goodness will pursue me all the days of my life. I love that translation because it's not just this passive idea that God is following us or that his goodness follows after us. No, it's more of a pursuit on his part. In fact, one of my favorite songs says in reference to this scripture, your goodness is running after me. And I was thinking about how much I don't like to run. <laughs> I don't like to run unless I'm chasing something really special. And friends, that's what God does for you. His goodness is running after you. But as I was thinking about that, I thought, what a great word for us today. However, some of us make God run pretty hard, don't we? Now think about that for just a minute. Sometimes we go so far in the other direction from God and he has promised that his goodness will pursue us. His goodness will run after us. That's how much he loves us. But how hard are you making him run today? Because sometimes we need to stop what we're doing. Sometimes we need to stop running far away from him, making him chase us. And we need to stop and we need to sit with him. We need to quit being afraid. We need to quit thinking that if we sit in his presence, that maybe he's not going to like what he sees. Because friends, he's already said he loves what he sees in you. He loves you so much that he would send his son to the cross to die, to save you from eternal separation from him. No matter what you've done, no matter who you are, no matter what your life has held up to this point, God wants you to sit with him. Don't make him run after you. He'll do it, but don't make him run after you today. Sit with him. Take time with him. Have some chai with him. And I guarantee if you do, that you will feel much more rested. And so will he. <laughs> so I hope that you have a wonderful day today. I'm so glad that you've joined us. Hope to see you on site or online this Sunday. Have a great day.